Hello everybody. So today I will be teaching you guys how to use the software Amadeus Pro. So the software is really just for sound and um, editing your sound pieces and all that. It doesn't work for um, visuals like video or picture, but it's, it's really just for sound. So right off the bat, you're met with this screen. I'm just going to drag in an audio just so we have something to see over here. Uh, first off, you should um, customize your toolbar up here. I already have it set up, but I'll just show you how to set it up. So you just double click um, over here and you go to customize toolbar. And this is what you'll see. So whatever you want, you could just drag it up. So let's say I don't want the record up here anymore. I could just put it down here um, and it's gone. But let's say, oh, I regret it. I want my record back. It's right here. I just slide it up here, position it where I want, and it's good. You could customize it however you want, and then just say done. Um, next. So I, uh, I inputted an audio file here, and right off the bat, it is in stereo, so it's coming out of the two speakers equally. Um, but I usually work with mono files, so what you could do is just split the track right up here and it's split into two mono files. So this one's coming, this, um, this sound is coming out the front left speaker and this one's coming out the front right. You could change this. So if you want this one to come out the, just the front, you could change it to the front. This one you want in the back. These are just the speakers, what you want it to come out of. Uh, this you could title it however you like. Uh, let's say you got drums over here and then uh, piano over here. You title it how you'd like it, what it is. Just this is to make it um, more organized and help you out with what you got to do. So here is the volume of the track. You could lower it or put it higher. You can turn off the track completely. If you just want to hear this one, you could turn this one off. Um, over here, we got the timestamps. And there's also a counter over here for the time. Here you get the vertical zoom. So this just... <laughs> it's just zooming in. It's not making it loud or anything. It's just zooming in. So you got more detail. Because if you zoom in on Amadeus, you could zoom in a lot. <laughs> It's really, really good for small detail. So you could zoom in a lot and then put the vertical zoom and you can see what's what's going on. <laughs> but um, yeah, Amadeus is very, very good for detail. I'm just gonna put it back. Um, you could put um, add track if you wanna add more tracks. So you want a guitar in there, you could add a track. If um, you don't want that track anymore, you could just double click right here and you could say delete track and it's gone. Um, uh, now getting into the editing part, uh, so you could select and drag, that's for selecting, that's if you want to just play a small portion. So let's say I just want to listen to this part, you position the, oh, um, the blue is what's playing, and the red is just for markers. Don't know where the red is right now, but the red is mostly for markers. So say I want to just listen to this part. I could just... It just replays that part. Um, if you want to copy and paste the part. So let's say I want this part. I just select it like this and then I play um, on the keyboard I do command C that means it's copied and let's say I want it at the end I just press here command V for paste and it's right here and then I could position it where I want it just like that uh, if I don't want it there anymore just command Z and keep doing it until it X's out uh, or you can zoom in and you could just double click, delete clip, just like that. Um, 
Um, then we can select this part. And let's say I just don't want this whole beginning. Just delete and it's gone. Let's say I don't want this part, but I want there to be a gap there. You can't press delete because it'll just move everything back. So what you want to do is you want to split the clip. So how you split a clip is you put the blue marker here. You can either split clip up here or you could just double click and split clip is right here. And then you have to select, so command A for the whole selection. And then you can just delete and it's gone and you have nothing there. Um, so yeah, that's how you copy paste and um, delete and everything you want. Let's say you have a split um, right here. You want it to be connected to this, uh, this clip. You could just double click, merge with previous clip. Now it's a full clip. Uh, this little dot right here and here, this is for um, the volume. So you could do a fade out with this. You can make it um, louder. You could add as many as you want. You just have to press on the line right here and you can just go a dip in that section, put it higher here. Uh, you can fool around with that. It's pretty, uh, it's an easy thing to learn. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave that like that. Um, next, you have up here. So uh, I'm on this clip right now. You could do view. Um, you could show your markers. You could, there's a lot of stuff over here um, that you could use. Um here is just like it's basically like the toolbar up here with the tracks but just in a different format effects effects is pretty important so let's say i want this part to be fully silent no sound at all i could just go effects generate silence it's already um it's already on a good good um set <laughs> it's on a good setting and you just click that and nothing. It's complete silence. There's no background noise or anything. It's just silence. Um, then, But you have to highlight what you want. You can't just go on the clip, effects, generate silence. It's not going to do anything. Because you, you really have to select what you want. So this track right here. This is what this sounds like. If I want to amplify, you could set it to as, as much as you want or as little as you want. So let's say I want it amplified by 8 dB. It's going to be a lot louder. Um, so yeah, that's just the amplify. Uh, the change pitch and speed. Um, you could put the pitch very very high you can put the speed higher it's gonna sound very weird but yeah um that's just in relation to this but i'll just turn that off yeah it's gonna be slower and um you can just fool around with that honestly the best way to learn this is if you just fool around with it just play around and figure it out there is a manual online that you could read but um, it's pretty long. So I think the best way to learn is just to experience it. Uh, the audio units, um, these are very good to use. They're, they're basically plugins. So audio units. They have a lot here, but you can also download. These are just the, I'm pretty sure they come with Mac. Um, I didn't download these or anything. They were already here, but you could download your own. And just play around, use whatever you'd like. Um, oh, you could even reverse the sound, which is it's fun. It just reverses. Um, that's the basics. That's pretty much the basics. Um, to save, you just go File, Save As. 
this will come up. You just put it um, wherever you want to save it. You name it whatever you want to name it. And here's the format. So if you want to keep editing and working on this, you're gonna. it's very important. Save this in an Amadeus Pro format because if you save it in any other format but you want to continue working on it, you're going to have to basically start over because it's not going to open in an Amadeus file with all your edits that you did. It's going to be like how you finish it off. It's just you won't be able to see your edits. Um, but if you are done, you can save it to whatever you want. You got a WAV file, MP3, whatever you want. Uh, so then you just click save and it'll save and it'll it'll be wherever you put it. And you could keep working on it or you could have your finished product. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically a crash course. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys have fun with it. It is um, it does cost a bit. I forget what I paid, but um, it's not it's not that expensive. It's not as expensive as some of the other softwares that are out there and it's a pretty good tool so especially for starters oh i forgot um right here uh you could set the sample rate and the sampling depth i usually put it to forty-eight thousand and twenty-four bit and then you press ok and it saves right there um so yeah that's all thank you for watching i hope this helped you out